Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Um, this was released around uh, the time that Episode 2 came out, um, and it's a uh, really cool vehicle. But before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at its packaging. Here it is. Um, it appears to be fairly standard. It's got some really nice artwork here on the front. Um, just more... Um, artwork of the vehicle on the sides, top and bottom. And then on the back here, it's got all of the features of the vehicle. I'll go through those later. And then two bios here on the back. If you'd like to read those, you can just pause the video. And uh, sorry, that's thunder. There is like a crazy thunderstorm right now. Anyway, um, here is also some... Uh, action figures and vehicles that you could have bought at the uh, at the time. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle itself. It is, let's see here. I have the ruler the right way, let's see. About 17 inches long um, to the end of the spike here. And then it's fairly flat, let's see. Yeah, just about four inches tall. So, pretty good size um, for one of these uh, vehicles. And I just have to say that I absolutely uh, love the way this vehicle looks. Um, really cool um, design. Um, I don't know if this was in the original Clone Wars TV show or it's just something um, that was made up. I'm not sure. Um, so it may not even be canon anymore, but I don't care um, because it looks... Uh, so cool. Um, it does come uh, with a few things out of the box here that I wanted to mention. Uh, it came with this. Um, I had never uh, heard of this before, but it's got three short stories in it. And then at the end, it's got a toy catalog, of course. Um, but um, kind of cool that they packed in like three actual stories. Uh, crazy. A lot of value for money there. And then, of course, it came with some stickers. I absolutely hate applying stickers to vehicles. Um, I think that they should just paint them on. And I'll talk about one problem that comes up with that later, um, but we'll talk about that later, like I said. Anyway, the vehicle itself has a couple, well, actually it has more than a couple. It's got a ton of features. Right here on the front, as you can see, there's a little missile here. And there's no buttons or anything. Um, you twist this Astromex head right here, and it fires the missile out. Um, it's got nice, uh, clear, let's see if it'll focus, yeah, clear, translucent plastic. Uh, it's got a green tint to it. Really cool looking missile. Um, and whenever you've removed it, um, it's not incredibly obvious that there's a little missile launcher here, um, so I don't really mind that too much. Um, in the box, uh, this end piece here will be removed, um, as well as this back fin here, just so that it fits in the standard size box, but those go on. Um, this one here, um, I'm sure you could probably get it out if you wanted to. Um, it's got an opening cockpit here. Um, one thing I don't like is they painted over the clear, um, so that they could have the, the clear piece here in the cockpit, and, and then just mold it all out of one uh, piece of plastic. One problem with that, though, is they didn't match the paint colors very well. So there's a difference between this piece and you know the rest of the ship, which, which really stinks. Um, if they had just done some of the uh, weathering like they did on the rest of the ship here, it wouldn't have been as noticed, uh, noticeable, and I wouldn't have minded so much, but um, the way it is now, it's kind of an eyesore. It does have fold-out, uh, I think these were like stabilizers or something they called them, I don't know. Uh, but they do fold out and they look really cool in the folded back and folded out positions. I really like that. On the bottom here, it's got foldable landing gear in the front here. And then it, uh, the back landing gear is always out. It's got these little wings here that you can pop up for, I guess, like attack mode or whatever. Um, pretty cool there. And then you can fold them back. Um, if you want to. And then back here, there's this hinged piece. I looked on the back, they call it a thruster. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, I'm imagining it's probably for takeoff or something. Um, and it doesn't really detract from the vehicle overall, so I don't mind uh, that it's there. And there's just tons of detail all over this thing. Um, I really uh, like the way it looks. 
Um, overall, I think the paintwork is, you know, fairly decent. Um, there are some kind of paint variations here. They're showing up much more on camera than they do in person. Um, but I think that those are probably intentional. Um, they just kind of add to a weathered uh, look. And um, one other thing that I want to mention is this circle right here. Now, that's a spot where you're supposed to apply a sticker, but like I said before, I hate applying stickers. So that wouldn't normally bother me, but they didn't paint the line through there. So it looks strange when you don't have that sticker on there. And I know that's a problem that I create for myself, but I just think that in a case like that, they should paint underneath there. Uh, it, could, it wouldn't have cost them, I mean, hardly anything else to just put that paint line through there. So I don't know why they didn't do it. Um, finally, one more thing I want to mention is these guns are removable. They do leave some pegs on the vehicle, um, but if you don't like the way those look, like if you think they're too big and goofy, um, you can remove them and it doesn't leave, uh, you know, too much, um, like of a, of a, uh, non-accurate piece there. I, I don't know, too much of a peg there, I guess, was the, what I was looking for. Uh, but anyway, uh, overall, I think that this is a uh, really, really cool vehicle. Whether it's Canon anymore or not, I have no idea. Um, but either way, it looks uh, really cool. So um, I definitely suggest picking it up if you can find it, uh, you know, for a, for a good price. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.